this is yogesh gupta and in this video we are going to deal with how to configure yum repository on a red hat enterprise linux 6 so first of all let us mount the cd rom to the media directory which is in the root so for this we'll use the command mount slash device slash cd rom and slash media uh, for your information i have already inserted the cd of red hat and hence I am mounting it. So as we can see it has been mounted. Now let's move to media directory and let's check yeah. Now move to the packages folder here. Now we have to install two three packages namely rpm hyphen ivh and first would be vshftpd star okay that's installed now we'll install delta rpm and that's also installed and now we'll install python delta rpm and now once this is done we can install the package name create repo Now this basically is further command for creating uh, create repository if you have not installed this package you won't be able to create repository which is uh, required for yum configuration so kindly make sure these all the three packages must be installed and since the last two packages uh, sorry the first two packages are the, the dependencies of this package so in you should install these two packages before installing create repo okay done now let's get back to our root directory and here we'll create a file uh, folder name uh, repo okay now let's back move back to the media folder To the media directory uh, where we have the CD-ROM mounted and we'll have to copy certain files from here and the first file would be packages and the second file would be rpm sorry rpm gpg red hat release file now once you are done and we need to specify the location of the destined directory and which is repo that we created here so once we are done we'll hit copy command and it will begin copying files from here now since the process will take some time i'll pause the video for timing we'll issue the create repo mini must issue repo create repo command with database parameter and will create it to the folder we have created that is repo and inside which packages folder and will start now this process is going to take some time so i will pause the video for a few seconds uh, now once we are done with this we will go to the root folder once again and now we'll create a repository file which should be in which should be stored in hc slash yum dot rep dot d folder and the name of the file can be anything which you like for instance i'll give you a basic dot repo and now once done with this click enter and go to the insert mode of vi editor now first we'll give the same name but in brackets uh, basic and make sure that this and the file name matches or you will get an error then certain parameters for this configuration file namely the name now this can be anything st uh, string which you like for example your name or for example like my local repository and then base url is the next parameter 
which will tell this configuration file uh, that is the yum to go and look in this particular location for downloading the packages or the software so this is the base URL you can change uh, since if you are using an FTP server you will be adding like this FTP and or uh, but since we are on a local machine we will do the following and my folder is repo and inside repo there are packages folder now enable now this is the option whether this repository will be enabled or usable or not so make sure it's tick dash one f0 it will be disabled then gpg check gpg check uh, it, this is an optional if you want to check the gnu privacy guard for the software that is uh, uh, the software that is verified by red hat so you should check this for security purposes and gpg key is the next parameter now this again will point to the location from where the yum will go to look for the keys of the particular packages and which is in repo slash uh, just a moment the file that from where we will get the keys so I will be adding that in repository rpm gpg key key space red sorry these now once we are done with this we can save our configuration file using uh, w and q and we are done with the so called uh, sorry just a moment now just we will need to check whether all the configurations are done correctly or not so we will issue yum repo list command now basically this will load all the repositories that are existing be it red hats uh, official or this basic repository now since we can see that our local repository has been loaded let's test it yum install sorry yum hyphen y it's for yes stall kde base now this is a long package and so uh, this hyphen y parameter basically tells that we don't need to provide yes or no answers again and again our default answer would be yes and so we will just set it up and we can see that it's checking for the dependencies it's gonna take some time so I'll pause the video for a while and we can see that it has taken the gpg key from the file and it's installing the packages uh, dependencies yeah. along with its dependencies has been installed successfully that's all for my videos. Thank you.